Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a red velvet patriotic bunt cake. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First, you're going to need one box of red velvet cake mix, any kind you like. Then you're going to need four eggs, one cup of sour cream, one package of 3.5 ounce instant vanilla pudding mix, and a half a cup of water. That's all for the bunt cake. And then, of course, a bunt pan. And then, if you want to make your own cream cheese frosting, go ahead and do that. But I'm just buying the store-bought cream cheese frosting. And I'm going to pop that in the microwave a little bit and spread it on. I think that will look perfect. And if you also want to um, take some out and dye some red or blue, that would also be fun. And then just some sprinkles. So I've just got these patriotic um, red, white, and blue stars here. And then some blue just um, sprinkles that I'm going to add to mine. I think that would be fun. And that's all you need. So first we are going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 and then we're going to spray our bunt pan generously with um, cooking spray. All right, in a large bowl we are going to mix our cake mix, pudding mix, eggs, sour cream, and water with an electric mixer until they're nice and combined. So I'm going to say about two minutes on medium speed. All right, that looks good to me. This mixture is very thick. So I did about 30 seconds on low speed and then about a minute on medium speed. And that did the trick. So now we are going to just go ahead and pour this into our prepared bun pan. All right, all of my batter is in my pan. I just pretty much took my spatula and dolloped it all over and then just try to smooth it out the best I can. So now we are going to go ahead and bake that 35 to 40 minutes at 350. All right, my cake just got in the oven. Mine cooked for 35 minutes, and I'm just going to um, let it cool here in the pan for 30 minutes, and then we're going to invert it onto a cooling rack. Okay, my cake cooled in the pan for 30 minutes, and then I just inverted it onto this um, cooling rack to cool completely, and I did put down some wax paper because I am going to drizzle the frosting over top of this. All right, my cake has completely cooled, so I just went ahead and opened up my frosting and removed the foil off of the top and put it in the microwave about 30 to 40 seconds. You want it to, I want it to be really runny, and I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle it over top of my entire cake. All right, I just drizzled my entire, just about my entire tub of frosting here, and you can see, I mean, you can still see some of the red velvet cake out the sides, which I do like that. And then I just immediately put all of my sprinkles on top. And let me tell you, it looks so cute and patriotic. I love it. So we will transfer this, hopefully, into a serving plate. And then we'll see what Taste Tester thinks. Okay, I transferred my um, cake onto a serving platter. And now I'm going to cut into it. And we'll see what Taste Tester thinks. All right, I cut taste test of this little yummy piece here, so we'll see what he thinks. Hey, taste tester. Hi. Have a little taste. Okay. There ain't nothing more. That's good. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone, come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy, Happy 4th, 4th of July. July.